let's understand some properties of division here we have some really funny looking children sorry uh, what i want to say is we have three groups of two children each therefore number of children are 3 multiplied by 2 is equals to 6 we have six children 3 number of groups 2 number of children in each group 6 is the total number of children now look at it the other way round there are six children we want to divide them into three equal groups we get two in each group that is six divided by 3 is equals to 2 or if we divide six children into two groups we get 3 in each that is 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3 so if you remember the multiplication fact we had was 3 multiplied by 2 is equals to 6 there were three groups of two boys each and we got total 6 children for this multiplication fact we have two division facts that if we divide these 6 children into three groups we get two in each group or if we divide them into two groups we get three in each group so now you can understand the relation between multiplication and division let me give you one more example if i have the multiplication fact 3 multiply by 9 is equals to 27 for this the division facts i'll be having are 27 divided by 3 is equals to 9 and 27 divided by 9 is equals to 3 that is if i'm having 27 objects and if i want to divide them into three groups each group will have 9 and if i'm having 27 objects and i want to divide them into nine groups each group will be having 3 thus for every multiplication fact we get two division facts